In this video, I'm going to turn different monster parts into one giant creepy creature. Follow me along through sketching, sculpting, painting, 3D printing and creating a base for the monster to stand on. But most important of all, it's based on 6 random prompt cards. And why is that? Because it's Monster Bash 5. Hello and welcome back. Oh and happy Halloween by the way. I got invited by my friend PKG Crafts. He tends to make cool and interesting videos about dioramas and miniatures. But before we go ahead, let me tell you about Monster Bash if you don't know it already. Monster Bash is about drawing 6 from over 320 cards containing monster bits and parts. And that's what we did on Discord together. 3, 2, 1, go! So, let's see what we have here. A pipe, feathers, a three-eyed cat, dragon wings, a poison bottle and a Hawaiian outfit. And now it's my turn to come up with something creative and turn these fragments into a monster. You don't have to take everything quite so literally. You can make whatever you see in these cards. Enough intro, let's begin. I sat down and drew what I imagined. This is what I ended up with. To get started, I begin with making the armature, which consists of aluminium wire and foil. I bring the wire to the shape like in my concept design. I wrap the foil around the wire skeleton to shape the base of the body. And then I made some legs, but the legs ended up being too short, so I gave them an extension. It says female professional, so I hope we can get this professionally done. I'm using the color champagne for this, but the color doesn't matter. And now it comes to sculpting. I'm making some little pizzas, or at least sort of. Make sure your dough has an even thickness. You can check that by holding it against the light, in my case, the sun. I'm just gonna put those flesh shreds on the aluminium foil body and join them carefully. I still need a couple more of these pizzas. I got this to roll out the clay. Let's make more flesh bits. I don't know if you can see this because, you know, it's see-through. To continue, I first need the base. This means I can then adjust the position of the armature and attach the rest of the clay. Thank you. 
I mix together a Mod Podge kind of paste to put on a base. This acts as a sealer and gives the otherwise flat areas more details. For the next step I collect some tree bark shards. Or at least that's what I call them. You will understand soon why. Now, with this space as a guideline, I can sculpt out the rest of the monster. For this, I'm mostly going to use my ball tool and some silicone tools. For the next part I use a two part epoxy putty. The mixture should contain equal parts of part A and part B. And please do not cut on your silicone mat. This was my favorite one and I destroyed it. Once the putty is dry it is stone hard. That's why I use it for attaching the eyes and wigs. I sculpted the wings in blender and seed brush. Here's a time lapse of what I did. After I was done, I printed them out with my resin printer. Printing took about six and a half hours. I think the following pictures are understandable without narrating every single step. Let me tell you a story instead. It is a story that takes place in the universe of, of druids and droids. More specifically, it is a story about the druid and the monster, about Eldred 
and Cynthia. In the shadowed realm of Verydale, where the ancient woods held secrets that whispered through the night, dwelt a druid named Eldred. His eyes, wise and weathered, had seen eons pass like fleeting shadows. He communed with the spirits of the forest, finding solace in their cryptic whispers. One grey morning, as a chilling mist flanked at the village of Briarbrook, Eldred's gaze fixated on a foreboding message tagged to the nearby village boat. It spoke of a malevolent force that had descended upon a distant hamlet, a creature born of nightmarish tales that left note but destructive in its wake. He only wanted to purchase some goods and food from the market, but this was no longer his first priority. A gnawing sense of responsibility gripped Eldred's heart, urging him to confront this ancient evil. Once, deep within his sanctuary of twisted trees and moss-covered stones, he encountered an egg laying beneath an old tree. He gathered the egg, hatched it gently and watched the creature grow. This happened pretty quickly, and the creature grew unexpectedly large. The creature grew and grew, but also did their friendship though it had a gaping maw, a nightmare incarnate. To others, it was a creature of terror, but Eldred, with his druidic gift, glimpsed a kindred spirit. He approached the once tiny beast, murmuring ancient verses that caresses the creature's savage soul. Gradually, the freshly hatched monster's hostility yielded, revealing the wounded heart of a gentle giant. Eldred christened her Cynthia, a name that held the promise of redemption within his syllables. Knowing that this little, or rather big Cynthia would help him through every quest and always had his back, he had to take her with him on this dangerous journey. Equipped with his pipe, he climbed up and the two set off. The pipe that Eldred, the druid, possesses is a finely crafted wooden pipe, intricately carved with nature motives. Its stem is smooth and polished, while the bowl is adorned with delicate engravings of leaves and wines. Within the bowl, Eldred carefully blends a mixture of dried herbs and magical plants he gathers from the depth of the enchanted forest. This concoction is a carefully guarded secret that he came up with after a long period of studying the wisdom of herbs. The mixture includes ingredients like moonlit fern, starry chamomile and whispering willow bark each imbued with potent mystical properties. When Eldred lights the pipe and takes a contemplative draw, the aromatic smoke envelops him, swirling in ethereal patterns around his figure. As he inhales, a sense of calm washes over him, and his senses become attuned to the natural world in ways that transcend the ordinary. The smoke acts as a conduit, deepening Eldred's connection with the spirits of the forest and enhancing his druidic abilities. It heightens his perception, allowing him to discern subtle shifts in the balance of nature, and grants him glimpses into the hidden energies that curse through the land. He is more likely to perceive subconscious things because his senses are heightened. This implies that he can track down the creature's tracks better. Moreover, this enchanted mixture serves a form of communion with the ancient guardians of the forest, granting Eldred's insights and wisdom from beings that dwell beyond mortal comprehension. It bestows him that the power to speak with the trees, hear the whispers of the wind, and understand the language of creatures both great and small. Through the pipe, Eldred becomes a vessel for the ancient magic that permeates the world around him. It is a sacred ritual, a union between a druid and the very essence of the natural realm, strengthening his resolve and guiding his actions in the face of darkness and uncertainty.
bound by a shared purpose, Eldred and Sandy are ventured forth to unearth the horrors that plague the distant town. Their path led them through the desolate expanse known as the Land of the Shards, a forsaken realm where Jack rocks shuddered like the teeth of a slumbering big creature, waiting for its moment to eat you alive. In that forsaken land, the air hung heavy with dread. A dilapidated boat, globed in an eerie stillness, cradled the lifeless form of a woman, her body missing a head. If there were still a face, vacant eyes would stare into the abyss. Yet, it was the grotesque tableau that awaited them nearby that froze their hearts in their chests. What could have done this? What kind of creature could possibly kill a whole town, and what gain would derive from its actions? Heads severed and lifeless and circled a colossal stone, a grim testament to a malevolence beyond reckoning. Human and bovine skulls stared vacantly, their silent screams etched into the frigid air. The nightmarish display was a harbinger of unfathomable darkness, a requiem for the Forsaken. Eldred's gaze met Cynthia's, a silent understanding passing between them. They stood at the precipice of a malevolent force, a power that sought to devour all in its path. With the moon veiled by ashen clouds, they knew their journey was a descent into a nightmare, a descent they could not avoid. They weren't even near the town, but the frightening creature took way more than just the lives of the townsmen. As they plunged deeper into the moor of horror, the wind whispered ancient curses, and the land itself seemed to recoil in dread. Together, they would face the unrelenting abyss, bound by a destiny forged in a crucible of fear. They would uncover the unspeakable terrors that lurk beneath the surface and confront the malevolence that sought to consume them. Turns out that in this case the real monster is not the creature I created, but what is the thing that longs for suffering and misery. This was the story about Eldred and Cynthia and about what they had discovered. Meanwhile I made some potion bottles, a harness, the druid itself, the corpse they found, and now I dry brush the base and add a head beneath the stone. The druid was made from a plastic person I found sitting in a kid's toy. I needed to change him quite a bit. I also gave him a beard. But most importantly, he now has his pipe. Because the monster's legs cannot hold the tremendous body weight, I need to find a way to support this creature. I found this wooden stick, but in my opinion this is too visible. Let me see what I can do to change this. In my last video I used this gloss varnish, which tries transparent. This could work. Now that I have everything included I wanted this build to have, it is time for the reveal. But first, let's see how the others reacted when I showed them my monster. Check out all the other participants, their creations are impressive. And you can find the link to the playlist down below in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching, hope to see you again next time. But for now, please enjoy the reveal.